As a wise man once said, what scares us the most in life is that for which we cannot see. The mystery of the unknown, if you will. And I can't think of another topic that goes great with horror than that of lost media. Lost media in general is a topic that's blown up in recent years. It's an interesting topic for many reasons, and combining it with horror creates something really creepy in my opinion. As after all, what scares us the most is what we don't see. So for this occasion, I decided to cover this iceberg chart about lost horror film media. This chart was made by Reddit user Equalrep, so shouts out to them. And the reason why I chose this chart in particular is because not only the length, but also the variety of the list. To give you an idea of how extensive the list is, every decade from the 1890s to now is represented on this very chart, which is insane to me. Because of how big this chart is, I'm going to be very brief about each entry. It's a pretty extensive list, so strap in and hopefully you'll learn something new as did I. Without further ado, here's the ultimate horror film lost media iceberg chart. Perhaps the most famous lost film in the history of cinema, London After Midnight was a 1927 silent horror film which starred Lon Chaney in one of his last horror roles. He plays an inspector who disguises himself as a vampire to catch the criminals on a case he was assigned, so that's why he has that haunting face. The last copy of the film was reportedly destroyed in the 1965 MGM Vault Fire, which also destroyed the only copy of Chaney's A Blind Bargain. Still, it's considered a holy grail amongst fans of film, and many still have hope that it may one day be saved. The closest thing we had to it today was the 2002 reconstructed version that Turner Classic Movies made, which used the original script and stills to recreate what the film could have been. Todd Browning, who later directed Dracula and Freaks, would remake his own film with the advent of sound in 1935 as Mark of the Vampire, in which Bela Lugosi plays the inspector. Nosferatu is the most famous silent horror film ever made, and is one of the prime examples of German Expressionist cinema, making it not only influential to the horror genre, but the film as a whole. Though it's a pretty well-known film today, it potentially could have been deleted from history, mostly due to copyright issues. Director F.W. Murnau famously wanted to make a film adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula, and for a while it was considered the first Dracula film, but we'll get to those in a second. Ultimately though, they were denied in getting the rights from Bram Stoker's widow, so they decided to change the names of the characters. For example, the main vampire is called Count Orlok, not Dracula. However, some of the promotional material still referenced Dracula, so Florence Stoker took them to court and won the suit, with the judge ruling that all copies of the film be destroyed. Fortunately, the film built up a cult following in Germany and had several copies, with one of them making it to the United States in 1929. In Germany, Dracula wasn't in the public domain until the 60s, but in America it already was, so there was no problem in preserving it. Since then, the film has entered public domain and has been re-released several times, and you can now easily watch it for free. This is actually an entry that I added. I'm surprised this wasn't on the chart. The first adaptation of Mary Shelley's science fiction horror classic Frankenstein wasn't the famous James Whale Universal one, but the 1910 silent film that was produced by Thomas Edison. The film was thought to be lost for many years, but a print was rediscovered in the early 50s and rescreened in the mid 70s. Today, the film is easily viewable today, whether on home media or the internet. Event Horizon deleted scenes status partially lost. Event Horizon is a 1997 horror science fiction film directed by Paul W. S. Anderson, who later directed the Resident Evil movies. This is borderline experimental. <laughs> the movie is already pretty violent and gory as is, but it originally had way more gruesome material. The original cut of the film was 30 minutes longer, and featured way more gory deaths of the crew members, specifically the visions of hell, a violent orgy, and Sam Neill's character crawling down a ladder like a spider. 
Of course, there were other scenes that were deleted for pacing reasons, but the gorier deaths of the crew are what most people think about when discussing the cutscenes of the film. Paramount requested that Anderson cut the film down to not receive an NC-17 rating, to which Anderson obliged. Some material of the deleted bits has survived, mostly thanks to the recent 2021 Shout Factory Blu-ray release, which has a lot of the lost bits, albeit in very poor quality, and includes Anderson's own commentary, but still a lot of it is lost. Was not is el hombre lobo. Existence unconfirmed. Knights of the Wolfman is a possible lost 1968 Spanish-slash-French horror film, directed by René Govar, and starring Paul Nashi as the werewolf. The film is debated on whether it's a real film, or whether it's just a misremembered story from Nashi. Though he starred in the film, he claims he never saw it, but insisted it was a French production, and that the director was killed in a car accident, and some say that the film itself was destroyed in this accident. The director, René Govar, has no trace or record whatsoever, and so too is many of the cast, meaning most likely that they never existed. For obvious reasons, many thought that Nashi made up the story to boost his own career, but a single photograph from the supposed film has circulated through the internet, which depicts Nashi in a werewolf makeup. The picture was featured in a documentary of Nashi's legacy called The Man Who Saw Frankenstein Cry. The film could have also transformed into the 1970 film The Fury of the Wolfman, as it also stars him in the leading role, and the image could have been a promotional still from the film. Regardless, it's still mostly unknown whether this film even exists, but it does make for a pretty fascinating story. The Butcher, existence unconfirmed. The Butcher is a 2001 short horror film that was reportedly aired on Nickelodeon in the early 2000s. The film's first mention online was a post on r slash tip of my tongue, where a user named deaduser00 posted about a short horror film they saw on Nickelodeon between 2001 and 2004. After this post gained some traction on Reddit, the National Film Board of Canada searched the Viacom archives but found no evidence that the film even existed. Eventually, other users directed Zero Zero to a short film called Butcher's Hook, which Zero Zero believed this was the film he saw on Nickelodeon all those years ago, aside from some differences in his recounted story. Still, it's unknown if the film ever existed or if this was just a false memory. Dracula, Spanish version, status, found. In 1931, Universal Pictures released Dracula, but that same year they would also release an exclusive Spanish version of the film, using the same sets as the English one but with a new Spanish-speaking cast. Though you would expect the American version to be superior, it's actually the Spanish version that ends up being a better movie, mostly due to the involved cinematography and exclusive material only in this version. The film was only really released in Cuba, and wouldn't be found again until the late 70s, when an incomplete printed film was screened at the Museum of Modern Art. Another full print was found in a theater in Havana, and it was this completed print which served as the basis for the 1992 VHS re-release of the film. Since then, it has been released on several formats over the years, even being archived by the Library of Congress in 2015. Cannibal Holocaust was and still is one of the most controversial horror films ever made, and was debatably the first true found footage horror film in the medium. It was so realistic for its time that director Ruggiero Diodato was charged with obscenity and murder, and had to prove in court that the film was purely fiction, by explaining the special effects and proving that all the actors were still alive. Both the film's graphic fictional content as well as the real on-screen killings of animals, the film was censored and banned in several countries upon release. Though the film features several disturbing scenes, Diodato and company originally filmed a scene that wouldn't see the light of day in the final film, known by fans as the deleted piranha scene. In the original script, there was a scene in which a wounded tribe warrior is tied to a log and lowered into a piranha-infested lake, being eaten alive by the piranhas. The scene actually used real piranhas, but the piranhas were so difficult to work with that they ended up never completing the scene. For a while, this scene was said to be an urban legend amongst fans of the film, until these screenshots were found proving that the scene was indeed filmed. The completed shots have never been found, and all that exists of it today are these very screenshots. Freaks. Deleted scenes. 
Davis. Completely lost. Todd Browning's 1932 horror film Freaks was one of the most controversial films of its era, and subject to mass amounts of censorship. MGM would force Browning to cut major aspects out of the film due to test audience screenings, and forced him to cut out 30 minutes of footage and film a new ending. The only pieces of media that have survived from these deleted scenes are these behind the scenes photos, production stills, and the alternate opening crawl. Dracula Elala, status. The first Dracula adaptation on film was always believed to be the previously mentioned Nosferatu, but in recent years that may have not been the case. The 1921 Austrian film Dracula's Death is agreed today to be the first true adaptation of the character, though it strays far from the book. The film is about a woman locked in an asylum who sees visions of Dracula. The only material that survived about the film are these stills from the film as well as the original poster. Predating Dracula's death is the 1920 Russian adaptation. The only problem is that there's absolutely no evidence that this version exists. The only mention of the film is in the J. Gordon Melton book, The Vampire Book, the Encyclopedia of the Undead. The film was theorized to be lost during the Russian Civil War, but throughout the years there's been no proof that it ever existed. Some even think that people confuse it with Dracula's death. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, 1908, status, completely lost. The first film adaptation of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was the 1908 silent film directed by Otis Turner, and according to some sources it may have been the first feature length American horror film. The film was a shortened and direct adaptation of the 1897 4X stage play, and was produced by the Soleg Polyscope Company, who made several films in this stage play style. Though the film is completely lost, there still remains a ton of info and documentation about it. What we do know is that the film was very successful, so successful that a year later there was a sequel called A Modern Dr. Jekyll. The 1931 James Whale Universal adaptation of Frankenstein had scenes that were censored for a variety of reasons. Most famously, the scene where the monster accidentally drowns the girl was cut for being too disturbing. In 1934, when the motion picture production code was introduced, an additional scene was edited to remove this line by adding a lightning strike, when Dr. Frankenstein says, I now know what it feels like to be God. In the name of God, now I know what it these scenes have since been restored in the version that's available today, thanks to an archived uncensored print of the film from the British National Film Archive found in the 80s. In 1996, Marilyn Manson filmed a short film, in which he as himself abuses a female fan at a party of his. The video was so shocking that Manson's manager begged him not to release it for fear that he would be imprisoned over it. For obvious reasons, this short film was never released, but some footage was placed in the 1998 live video album Dead to the World. Aside from Manson and his manager, the only other person to see the film is the equally controversial Andy Dick. Given Manson's new allegations, it's likely that this film will never be seen or released to the public. Status. Completely lost. The Monster of Frankenstein was an Italian silent film adaptation of Frankenstein. All that exists in the film today is a single still from the film and some promotional material and reviews. Though the film seemed to be critically panned upon release, it was one of the first Italian horror films making it very historically important. The Marquis Ball, 1933, English audio. Status. Completely lost. The Monkey's Paw was a 1933 American horror film produced by RKO, and based on the famous story. The only surviving copy of the film that exists today is a French dub of the movie, so the original English audio is lost. Most of the films by legendary silent film director Georges Méliès are now completely lost, mostly due to him burning his negatives of his films. However, many of his films have survived, and thankfully one of them is the 1896 horror film The House of the Devil, 
the film, like many of Melius's works, was presumed lost, until it resurfaced from a New Zealand junk shop in the 80s. However, not all Melius's films were so lucky. Cleopatra, status, completely lost. Cleopatra was another silent horror film that Melius directed. The plot centers around archaeologists discovering the tomb of Cleopatra and resurrecting her mummy. Though the film was later released internationally as robbing Cleopatra's tomb in America and Cleopatra's tomb in the UK, it became lost like many of his filmography. In 2005, a print of the film was reportedly found in France, but it ended up being a completely different film. The cat creeps. status. Partially lost. The Cat Creeps was Universal Pictures' first sound horror film, predating Dracula, and was a sound remake of the 1927 film The Cat and the Canary. Like Dracula, the film was filmed in both English and Spanish, but unfortunately both versions are lost. All that remains is the soundtrack and two minutes of footage that was featured in the 1932 comedy Boo, which dubbed over the clips to make fun of the film. Das Phantom Turnover, 1916, status. The first adaptation of The Phantom of the Opera was not the 1925 Lon Chaney version, but instead it's the 1916 Austrian adaptation by Ernest Matrey. There's some promotional material from the film, but aside from that, it's completely lost today. The Shining, deleted scenes and epilogue, status, completely lost. Stanley Kubrick was a director who was well known for the amount of takes he did when filming his movies, and The Shining was no exception. You can even see some of these alternate takes in some of the trailer spots, but the content I'm referring to are the lost deleted scenes. There were many scenes that were cut from the film, many of which flesh out some of the cryptic plot points in the final film, such as Jack being freed from the freezer by Grady, which was probably cut to make it more of a mystery, as even today people still debate on who or what freed Jack. There was also this really cool shot, where originally we were supposed to see the camera pan from the frozen maze onto Jack's frozen body, in one continuous shot, as in the final film it just cuts to Jack's frozen body. But the most famous deleted scene from the film was its deleted epilogue. Originally, after we see Jack's frozen body in the maze, the film cuts to a scene where we see that Danny and Wendy escaped and are now in a hospital. This scene was actually in early New York and LA screenings of the film, but Kubrick later cut it from the final film. It's reported that all of these scenes were personally destroyed with Kubrick's supervision, and even if these scenes are discovered, Kubrick's estate has been very adamant on not releasing cut content from his films. The Vampire, mind inverted, status, found. Robert G. Vignolia's 1913 film The Vampire might be the first on-screen representation of a vampire on film, or at least the oldest existing one. It wasn't always like this though. It was considered to be lost for several years, but it was archived by the George Eastman Museum Film Archive. There's also another Swedish film released in 1913 called The Vampire, directed by Moritz Stiller. This one is also considered to be lost, but I think it was found. There's not a lot of info on this one compared to the American ones, so I'm not sure. And often both films get confused. Player 2, hit 2017, baby scene, status, completely lost. In the 2017 film adaptation of It, there was originally a scene where a baby is eaten by Pennywise. The scene was present in the original script for the film, and it's believed that this scene was filmed, but that point is unconfirmed. Regardless, the scene isn't in the final film, but we still have the original script though. Xarnawalka, 1973, existence, debunked. Black Volga was a supposed 1973 Polish horror film, whose existence was later disproven. The film was sort of an urban legend amongst Polish film fans, and it has this whole backstory about the Polish government banning the film due to its content, but all of this was later disproven by Polish YouTuber Kekpur, who couldn't find any leads of the film's existence. Dead End is a 1985 comedy zombie horror film written, starring, and directed by Emerson Bixby. It was apparently a found footage horror film shot on video, with a reported budget of $1,500. 
Forum users who claim to have seen the bootleg film recall certain aspects and key parts of the film and its plot, mainly the gory kills and the pop culture references. Bixby reportedly lost his copy of the film in 1987, and lost contact with everybody who worked on it who may still have a copy. Kurt's bloody suicide. Status. Found. Kurt's Bloody Suicide was a 1984 horror film short that was made by a teenage Kurt Cobain. Yes, that Kurt Cobain. The film was shot on a Super 8 camera, and was shot in Cobain's hometown of Aberdeen, Washington. The film itself is a weird music montage of creepy imagery that Kurt filmed with his friends, including Nirvana bassist Chris Novoselic. The video itself was frequently shared by Nirvana fans, but officially made its way to the internet when user Kermageddon Nirvana uploaded a rip of the film to YouTube in August of 2013. Mothman, status found. Mothman was a 2000 independent horror film that was created by Earthworm Jim creator Doug Tenapple. The film was based off the famous urban legend, and executive Martin Cohen and producer Mark Russell decided to finance the film, initially putting out a $650,000 budget, before it dwindled to a $60,000 budget. Because of the decrease in budget, the film had a very difficult production, so much so that it was never completed. The film was advertised on the internet in the early 2000s, so it did have an online presence with many wondering about the whereabouts of the final film. In 2007, a trailer was uploaded to YouTube, and in 2010, Tenapple teased a DVD release. In August of 2023, YouTuber Mr. Bones released a video in his Lost Media Limbo series covering Mothman, to which a couple days later he was then contacted by a person who worked on the film, and he provided a 22-minute cut of the movie. There's of course a lot more of the film that hasn't been released, but it's likely that this is the only piece that's ever going to be released, due to the troubled production. Life without soul, 1915, status, completely lost. Life Without a Soul was a 1915 silent horror film that was an American adaptation of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, though as mentioned previously, it wasn't the first. The film was reportedly an hour and 10 minutes long, and was produced by the Ocean Film Corporation. Though the film was completely lost, some promotional material and stills from the film have survived. Dracula, 1931, epilogue, status, lost. In the original cut of Dracula, there was an epilogue in which Edward Van Sloan, who plays Van Helsing in the film, breaks character and speaks to the audience directly, assuring them that the events in the film could just as well happen to them in real life. When the film was reissued in 1936, the motion picture code forced Universal to take out the epilogue, and feared that the audience would take the message seriously and to not offend religious groups. Unlike the Frankenstein censored scenes, this ending was never restored, and the full version is not available today, though the scene was archived by Universal in the late 90s. But the scene was briefly included in the 1999 documentary Road to Dracula. The werewolf, in status, completely lost. The first werewolf movie in the history of film was the 1913 silent short film The Werewolf. The film's plot involves a Navajo woman becoming a werewolf, to get revenge on the white settlers that invaded her land. The film was reportedly destroyed in the 1924 Universal Studios fire, and all that exists in the film today are some archive reviews and the film's poster. Shoujo Tsubaki, aka Midori, was an independent anime film by Hiroshi Harada. The film is perhaps the most disturbing anime film ever made, and was banned in several countries due to its subject matter, but has since obtained a cult following. The film was released in 1992, only being shown in carnival-style screenings as per Harada's vision, but in 1994 the Japanese film censor board Eiren forced Harada to cut out some shots and censor some dialogue. This censored version of the film was believed to serve as the basis for the 2006 limited DVD scan of the film that was released by Cinemalta, and was in pretty terrible quality. Eventually in 2020, Harada confirmed that the scan in the 2006 DVD was the uncensored version, though it was still altered from the original theatrical cut because of the whole carnival screening stuff. 
it was believed that the original cut of the film was lost. But in 2013, a 16mm negative of the film was found in the back of a Japanese editing studio warehouse, and it was given a 1080p digital scan, which was screened at some Japanese film festivals. This version of the film hasn't been released on Blu-ray, but it has been teased. Friday the 13th, part 3, alternate ending, status, completely lost. In the ending of Friday the 13th, part 3, Jason is killed by Chris, the final girl of the film, as the film was originally intended to be the last installment in the franchise. However, they also filmed two other endings for the film. In the first alternate ending, after Chris strikes an axe in Jason's face, she escapes onto a canoe and falls asleep, and when she wakes up, she is beheaded by Jason, until it's revealed to be a dream. In the final film, instead of Jason beheading her in the dream, it's the corpse of Mrs. Voorhees who kills her instead. For the second ending, when we cut to the police examining Jason's body, we instead see that he's missing, setting up a sequel. Both of these endings were debated upon whether they were real or not, until the book Crystal Lake Memories revealed the extent of the alternate endings, and the photos from the first alternate ending confirmed that it was indeed filmed. All American Massacre 2000 Status Partially Lost All American Massacre is the unofficial sequel to the first two Texas Chainsaw Massacre films, by the son of the original director of the films, William Hooper, and stars Bill Mosley reprising his role as Chop Top. The film began as a 10 minute short only to balloon into an hour long feature, and aside from some of the original cast members returning, Buckethead plays Leatherface in the film and also did the soundtrack. It was teased on the internet during the early 2000s, but due to copyright reasons, the film was never released, and though the film later tried to utilize crowdfunding to release the film, the Kickstarter never met its goal, but some material of the film has been released. Crybaby Lane was a 2000 horror-themed TV film that aired on Nickelodeon. It was thought to be lost, as it only aired a couple of times on Nickelodeon back in the day, and it allegedly scared kids and parents complained. In 2011, the film was recovered, and it was a big story at the time, so much so that Nickelodeon would re-air the film in 2011 and 2017. Gremlins, R-rated screenplay, status, found. Chris Columbus's original script for Gremlins was originally way more dark than what appeared in the final film. Columbus originally wrote Gremlins as a straightforward horror film, and had a scene of Billy's mom being beheaded, and a scene where Billy and Kate go into a restaurant to see the food untouched but the customers eaten. Steven Spielberg, who produced the film, loved the concept, but didn't know if some of the darker elements could make for a PG rating, thus they were scrapped. This already script of Gremlins has never fully surfaced, but a draft of the screenplay was leaked. Still though, the final film is pretty violent. In fact, the film would later serve as an inspiration for the PG-13 rating. House of 1000 Corpses, Deleted Scenes, Status, Partially Lost. Rob Zombie's feature-length directorial debut, House of a Thousand Corpses, was completed in 2000, but it wouldn't be until 2003 when the film was released. Universal, who were going to distribute the film, had creative conflicts with Zombie's direction, and when the film was picked up by Lionsgate later, they demanded an extensive recut and reshoots for the final film, in order for the film to not receive an NC-17 rating. Because of this, the violence and gore were cut down, and Zombie actually had to refilm scenes to make them less violent, and in total, 15 minutes of the film were cut. The uncensored 105 minute cut was originally screened at the Argentinian film festival Mar del Plata on March 13, 2003, and though this was reportedly the same version that was leaked to the internet in its early days, the full rip of this version is nowhere to be seen. Zombie has stated on multiple occasions that the extended cut will probably never be released, since reportedly they couldn't find the original cut of the film because of the amount of bonus material they shot for the movie, and how apparently that was archived better. Frankenstein meets the world man, Bella Lucas I dialogue, status, completely lost. In Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, Bela Lugosi, who previously played Dracula as well as Igor in Son of Frankenstein and Ghost of Frankenstein, plays the monster in this one. 
For the entire film, the monster stays silent, but originally there were scenes where he spoke. These scenes were cut in the final film, many theorizing that it was because of Lugosi's Hungarian accent, and that test audiences laughed at it. The scenes are now lost, but there is a brief moment in the film where Lugosi speaks as the monster, where he apparently says the line, it's all here, but you can't really tell because of the music. James Wan's debut horror film was the 2000 film Steigine. Wan would later go on to create the Saw, Insidious, and Conjuring franchises, and was a figure who defined horror films in the 2000s and 2010s. So you would expect this film to be viewable today, but it's actually lost. The film was shown at some underground horror film festivals, and won some awards. However, it never got a DVD release. Aside from the trailer and some behind the scenes photos, the film is not available to the public, but is reportedly archived by Wan himself. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 Deleted scenes Status Partially lost Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 had several deleted scenes that distributor Canon forced Toby Hooper to cut out. Some of them are available to watch today, but others are still lost. The most well-known available deleted scene was the Die Yuppie Scum scene, albeit it's in terrible quality. And ironically, this was a scene that Hooper himself cut out of the film, since it was filmed by a second unit crew, and he was apparently dissatisfied with it. The best stuff that got cut out of the film is still unfortunately lost, which fleshes out both the family and Dennis Hopper's character. There was this hotel room scene where Hopper's character hallucinates chainsaws coming out of the walls, and a shot from this scene was actually included in this TV spot for the film. The ring, serial killer scenes, status, completely lost. In the 2002 American remake of Ringu, there was originally a subplot with actor Chris Cooper playing a serial killer. Cooper's character is established at the beginning of the film, but isn't introduced till the end, and apparently test audiences love the character so much that the director Gore Verkinski cut him out of the film entirely in fear that audiences may want to see more of the character. Nothing about these scenes have been released to the public meaning they are still lost, and the photos or videos you're seeing right now are taken from the 2010 film The Town. Book of Shadows Blair Witch 2 is the critically panned 2000 sequel to The Blair Witch Project. The film was directed by Joe Berlinger, who prior to this film was praised for his previous documentary films, and arguably is credited with creating the modern true crime genre that we have today. And according to him and many others, Blair Witch 2 could have ended up way better if the studio didn't interfere with it. Berlinger's superior director's cut was ambiguous and psychological, compared to the final film which is more on the nose and straightforward. The director's cut of Blair Witch 2 has never been released, though fans have tried their own attempts at restoring the tone of the original cut. Eyes wide shut, deleted 24 minutes, status completely lost. Stanley Kubrick's last film, Eyes Wide Shut, originally had 24 minutes of footage that were cut from the film. Unlike The Shining, nothing is known about these deleted scenes, and it's likely that they'll never be released. Some theorized that the cut footage was simply just extra footage from the orgy scene, and that it was cut for pacing and rating reasons, and the film was censored for its theatrical release by digitally adding actors to block some of the sex and nudity during the orgy scenes, but this was later restored in the modern releases of the film. There's also the conspiracy theory that Kubrick was killed for making this film for exposing the elites, a theory that's only grown in recent years, and that the footage that was cut implicated several high-profiled figures. Thus, the film was edited to accommodate this. King Kong, 1933, Spider Pit scene, status, completely lost. In the original King Kong, after the crew members are shaken off the log, we see them get attacked by a giant spider. This was originally featured in the first screenings of the film, but was cut for being too shocking for audiences. The original scene is lost today, but during the making of his 2005 remake, Peter Jackson actually recreated the scene using the same techniques and technology that filmed the original. Godzilla, 1954, deleted cow scene, status, completely lost. In the original Godzilla, the first time we see him in full is in this iconic hill shot, but director Ishiro Honda had an alternate vision for how the monster was introduced. 
Originally, they shot this scene with a cow in Godzilla's mouth to convey the size of the monster. This scene was cut in favor of the scene that was ultimately in the final film, and all that exists of it today is this single photograph. Photographing a Ghost is an 1898 silent horror film that was directed by George Albert Smith, one of the pioneers of early filmmaking and the technology and techniques used to produce it. The film was about a man attempting and failing to photograph a ghost, meaning it could have been the first film centered around the paranormal. The film is lost today, so I guess you can say that the film's plot is like an allegory for trying to view the film itself. Possibly two of the oldest Japanese horror films in existence. Shinin no Sosi was a silent black comedy where a corpse comes back to life after being dropped out of a coffin. Or Baki Jizo is a straightforward horror film about the Japanese mythology character Jizo, the protector of dead children. Both films are lost today, but both films were directed by Shiro Asano and Shibata Tezuniki, two major names in early Nippon cinema. And the only proof of these films' existence is Asano's own testimony. The Grey Lady was a 1909 Danish short horror film about Sherlock Holmes encountering a ghost in a mansion. Aside from some stills from the film and some reviews and promotion, the short is now completely lost. The Green Woman, 1914, status, completely lost. The Dream Woman was a 1914 silent film directed by Alice Guy Blanche, who is often credited as being the first major female filmmaker. The plot is about a woman who dreams about another woman trying to kill her in her dreams. And slowly as the film progresses, the dreams become more real. Kind of like a precursor to Nightmare on Elm Street, I guess. The only surviving material of the movie are 14 stills from the film as well as an old newspaper review of the film. Friday the 13th, part 2, deleted scenes, status, found. Friday the 13th Part 2 originally had way more gory deaths in the film, but they had to cut them down to appease the MPAA. Aside from the trimmed down kills, other scenes were cut and trimmed, including an extended sex scene with actress Marta Kober. The reason they cut this scene down was because she was underage at the time they filmed the scene. You want to explain yourself? Anyways, the scenes were recently released on the 2020 Scream Factory Friday the 13th Blu-ray box set. The Phantom of the Opera, 1962, TV scenes, status, found. When the 1972 Hammer adaptation of The Phantom of the Opera was aired on TV in the mid-60s, the film didn't fit NBC's time slot, so additional footage would be filmed by Universal and be reinserted into the film. This same thing would happen to the first Halloween film, as well as the first Superman movie. These extra scenes that Universal shot were presumed to be lost, as they only appeared in this version of the film. But in 2020, Shot Factory released a collector's edition Blu-ray of the film, with an extended cut of the film which featured these scenes. The Phantom of the Opera, 1925, sound version, status, partially found. In 1929, Universal Pictures would re-release The Phantom of the Opera in theaters with the addition of sound. This version added music and dubbed over the actors, with the exception of Lon Chaney, as Universal was contractually obligated to not tamper with his performance. This new version of the film was critically mixed, and was a huge reason why Chaney would turn down the role of Dracula prior to his death. Aside from the fifth reel of the film, which contains 11 minutes of footage and audio from this version, the film is now lost, though fans have tried to recreate the sound version of the film since it's now public domain. The Phantom of the Opera, 1925, Redemption Ending, Status, Completely Lost. The Phantom of the Opera also had an alternate ending, the so-called Redemption Ending. In this ending, the Phantom dies from a broken heart before the angry mob arrives at the lair, which is how the original novel ended. Early test audiences hated this ending, so when the film came out in December of 1925, they edited out this ending and replaced it with the Phantom being stormed out by the mob. This alternate ending is now completely lost today. The fearless vampire killer, US cut, status, partially lost. 
The Fearless Vampire Killers was a 1967 UK horror comedy film directed by Roman Polanski. The film was re-edited for its US release, toning down and straight up removing some of the horror aspects of the film to promote the comedy aspect. Though the US cut has never been re-released, we still have some trailers from the US cut as well as the full animated intro that was not present in the UK cut. The collected 2019 status partially lost. The Collected was a 2019 horror movie and the third film in the Collector film series. The film started shooting for eight days before COVID hit and they stopped production, for which the film never resumed. The footage shot in those eight days has never been released to the public. Child's Play 1988 Uncut to our version the final runtime for Child's Play is an hour and 27 minutes long, but originally there was way more footage that was shot for the film. The deleted scenes include an extended opening, explaining more of Charles' crimes before he transfers his soul into the doll. There's also a scene where Andy shows Chucky a picture of his dead father, a scene where John Bishop is performing more voodoo magic, a scene where a good guy doll is given to Andy in a psychiatric clinic to overcome his fear of dolls, and an alternate ending. Originally Chucky's voice through the doll was originally supposed to be voiced by Jessica Walter, but director Tom Holland thought it didn't work and ultimately decided to use Brad Dourif's voice. The reason why this was cut from the final film was because of the test screening audience's negative feedback of the two hour long cut of the film. The only scene we have today is part of the voodoo chant scene, which was featured in the 2016 Scream Factory Blu-ray documentary making of the film, and the extended opening which was leaked by the actor who played Andy though we still have some stills from all the deleted scenes, and the original script which was leaked online, though it's still rumored that the two hour cut of Child's Play is still out there. The Cave of Demons was another horror short film by Georges Millies, and like Cleopatra, it's one of his lost films. The Mummy, 1932, deleted scenes, status. There were originally deleted scenes in Universal Pictures The Mummy. This included extended scenes showing the different reincarnations of Helen in different moments in time. Before Universal re-released their classic monster films in the early 90s, they attempted to find these deleted scenes to no avail. Today all we have of these scenes are these photographs. A nightmare on Elm Street. Redwell production material. Status. Completely lost. John Saxon, who played Nancy's father in the first and third Nightmare films, proposed a concept for a prequel film that establishes that Freddy wasn't the one who killed the kids of Elm Street, but instead it was the real-life killer Charles Manson, and that Freddy was framed for the murders. He completed a treatment for the film in early 1987, and later sold it on eBay years later. The Terror, 1928, status, completely lost. The first sound horror film in the history of cinema was Warner Bros. 1928 film The Terror. There was actually two versions of this film. There was a silent version of the film that played at theaters that hadn't converted the sound yet, and there was the actual sound version. Both versions of the film are now lost, and have been since the 70s, though the complete soundtrack discs were preserved by the UCLA Film Archive, and we have a ton of promotional material and stills from the film itself. The Wizard. 1927 status completely lost. The Wizard was a 1927 horror film produced by Fox, and today it is now lost. We fortunately have a ton of reviews, promotional material, and stills from the film, so we have a vague idea of what it was like. Japanese King Kong films status completely lost. At least two King Kong films were made in Japan during the 1930s. Both of them are now lost. The two films are Why Say King Kong from 1933 and King Kong Appears in Edo from 1938, many saying that they were destroyed through the bombing campaigns in World War II, but still both are highly sought after amongst kaiju fans, as these are believed to be the first giant monster movies in Japanese history predating Godzilla. Player 3, El Elemento Del Mito, status, completely lost. The Food of Fear was a 1994 Mexican horror film that is now currently lost. It was directed by Juan Lopez Montezuma, a prominent Mexican horror director, as this was his last film before his death. 
Aside from being re-released at a 2006 Mexican film festival, the film hasn't seen a widespread release since its Mexican theatrical run in 1995, and all that exists of it today are these behind-the-scenes photographs and some reviews of the film itself. Lock out your doors. 1959. Existence unconfirmed. Lock Up Your Daughters was a supposed 1959 horror film starring Bill Lugosi. It's highly debated whether this film is even real or not due to the conflicting reports of the film itself. Apparently Lugosi only appears in the film in stock footage from his earlier work, similar to Plan 9 from Outer Space, as he was dead when both films were released, while others claim that the footage of Lugosi for the film was shot before his death, as he apparently appeared in the film as a host of some kind. The only proof of this film's existence are a variety of newspaper reviews and advertisements, but aside from that it's completely lost today, if it even exists at all. This man, 2011, existence unconfirmed. This man was a cancelled 2011 horror film based on the viral copypasta. The film was going to be directed by a man named Brian Bertonino, and produced by a company named Ghost House Pictures. Sam Raimi and Rob Tappard were allegedly also listed as producers. It was even alleged that the original website was made as a viral marketing stunt to promote this upcoming film, but that's just a rumor, and nothing is really known about the production material for this supposed film. Later in 2023, the film was released called Dream Scenario, starring Nicolas Cage as a weird man who keeps popping into people's dreams, which is obviously inspired by the original story. So if you want to see this concept in a film, then watch that movie, it's really good. Broken 1993 status found. Broken was a 1993 short horror music film for the band Nine Inch Nails EP of the same name, and was directed by Peter Christofferson, and written and starring Trent Reznor. The video was never released publicly because of its graphic content, but it was leaked and traded around a lot, mostly by Nine Inch Nails fans during the 90s, and you can easily watch the video today. Black the Ripper, 1976, existence unconfirmed. Black the Ripper was a supposed blaxploitation horror film that was allegedly released either in 1974, 75, or 76. The first mention of the film was in a May 8, 1974 issue of Variety magazine, the second was an advertisement for the film in Monsters of the Movies, and the third and final time was in a February 25, 1976 issue of Variety. In 2013, a forum user claimed to have a rip of the film while browsing for torrents to which another user posted some screenshots from the supposed film, and gave a brief plot synopsis. Still, even after all this proof, the film's existence is still heavily debated. Dirk and his cop, 1920, status, completely lost. We've already covered F.W. Murnau's Nosferatu, and how that was almost lost to time, but here's a film that he made before Nosferatu that is still sadly lost today. The Head of Janus is a 1920 German expressionist horror film that was loosely based on Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and it even reportedly starred Bela Lugosi in a minor role a decade before his portrayal of Dracula, and features cinematography by Karl Freund. The film was critically praised when it was first released in 1920, again being one of the best examples of German expressionism. Aside from the posters, some ads, and some stills from the movie itself, the film is completely lost today, but is still highly sought after due to its historical legacy. Before the 1920 film The Golem was released, the character actually had two previous film installments that were also written, directed, and starred Paul Wegner. The first film, released in 1915, has three minutes of footage that's available to view today, but the rest of the film is now lost. The 1917 film The Golem and the Dancing Girl is completely lost aside from some stills of the film. This film was more of a comedy parody of the first film, making it possibly the first horror spoof. The 1920 film is the only full surviving film, and the movie was a prequel to the 1915 film. Hideo Nakata's Ringu is said to have a way more graphic cut from the film out there compared to the final film, known as the Brussels Cut. 
The main difference is said to be the opening mouth effect, which was apparently toned down in the final film, as this cut of the effect was way more gory. The original version was supposedly played at the 1990 Brussels International Film Festival, but this cut is highly disputed to have ever existed, as Nakata has denied this cut in several interviews. Speed body lamp, speed six. West grave of production material, status, completely lost. Scream 4 was the last film that horror legend Wes Craven directed, but it's confirmed that he planned for a fifth and sixth one before his death. Writer Kevin Williamson wrote treatments for these films, as per contractual agreement with Miramax, and reportedly the fifth film would have continued from the fourth, with Jill being stalked on a college campus, and the sixth was supposed to focus on Gail and her relationship with Dewey, but aside from that, not much is known about it. Craven died in 2015, and after the Weinstein scandal, the franchise was sold from Miramax to Spyglass Media Group, who have since made Scream 5 and 6. The Cuckoo Clocks of Hell was a three-hour 1973 horror film that was later released as the 1977 film Last House on Dead End Street. The three-hour long 1973 version of the film was apparently so disturbing upon release that the film's director, Roger Watkins, alleges that the film caused riots from its early screenings at film festivals, and allegedly a Chicago theater burned down because of it, and Watkins was sued. The original cut of the film is lost, but the 1977 cut is viewable today. The Rocky Horror Picture Show sucks from cancelled Saint Wilson. Status completely lost. Though the Rocky Horror Picture Show was a failure when it was first released, it soon became one of the biggest cult films of all time, and throughout the years there have been many attempts at making a sequel. Since the film is a musical, there are of course songs that were written and performed in the planning processes for these cancelled sequels, with many of them being lost, though some were repurposed in other films. For example, the film Shock Treatment has two songs from Richard O'Brien that were originally planned for the Rocky Horror Picture Show sequel, that being the songs Looking for Trade and Little Black Dress. The other songs were purportedly recorded on a demo tape with the 72-page script, but have never been released, and the same thing is rumored with the other attempts to make a sequel to Rocky Horror. The thing, 1982, deleted scenes, status, partially lost. While filming The Thing, John Carpenter made several changes to Bill Lancaster's original script. Some of these deleted scenes are available, such as some extended scenes and cut special effects shots, but a lot of it is only available through these behind the scenes photos. I could go over these in detail right now, but I honestly want to save these for another full video. The fifth Halloween film originally had way more gory kills in the film, however the MPAA forced a recut of the film to be considered for an R rating. Additionally, this original cut of the film also featured an opening emphasizing the cult aspects that the Thorn trilogy was introducing, but this was later cut as well. Both this scene and some of the violent kills that were cut out of the film were recently re-released on the 2021 Shout Factory 4K Blu-ray set, but some of the uncut scenes are still lost. Wes Craven's original cut of The Hills Have Eyes was apparently too graphic to be given in R rating, so certain kills had to be cut. This uncensored cut has never resurfaced, and it appears to be lost. Though Nosferatu itself is not a lost film, the original score partly is. Like most silent films, the score was performed live, and was scored by Hans Erdmann. Though some of the score composition has survived, most of it is still lost today, though since the film is public domain, many have attempted to recreate it. Sasqua, 1975, status, partially lost. Sasqua is a lost 1974 independent Bigfoot horror movie. The film is believed to be completely lost, but a grainy trailer survived, and there's a ton of info about it thanks to the recent documentary, Sasqua the Lost Bigfoot Film of Massachusetts, by John Campiano. It's a pretty interesting story. Squirrels, 2014, status, partially lost. 
Squirrels was a cancelled 2014 horror film about killer squirrels killing people. A teaser was released for the film, but that's about it. The Black Cauldron. Deleted scenes. Status. Partially lost. The Black Cauldron was famously one of the darker animated films that Disney has ever produced, and originally there was way more dark stuff in the early cuts of it. Some of the darker violent aspects of the film, mainly the unused animation cells, have been leaked to the internet, but a full restoration will probably never be released. The Ghost Raider, 1914, status, completely lost. The Ghost Breaker is a 1914 silent horror drama film produced by Paramount Pictures, and is the first film adaptation of the 1909 Broadway play of the same name. The only existing pieces of it now are the stills and promotional material of the film. An American werewolf in London, uncut version, status, completely lost. In the original American Werewolf in London, there was originally a scene where tramps were being killed in a junkyard. This scene was so negatively received by test audiences that director John Landis cut it out of the final film, though he regrets doing it now. Though the uncut version of the film was made available on a limited edition DVD release, this was the only scene that wasn't included. Carrie, 1976. Deleted scenes. Status. Completely lost. In Brian De Palma's adaptation of Carrie, there was originally a prologue scene that depicted the Reign of Stones, a crucial part in the original book. However, it was cut due to De Palma not finding a way for the scene to work. Carrie, 2013. Deleted scenes. Status. Partially lost. Like the original, the 2013 film also cut out the Reign of Stones bit, but unlike the original, they ended up filming this scene, but it didn't make it into the final film. A lot of deleted scenes were made available via its Blu-ray release, but still a lot of them have never been released, with many blaming studio meddling with ruining what could have been a great adaptation. The Ghoul, 1933, status, found. The Ghoul is a British horror film based on the novel of the same name. The film was considered to be lost until 1969, when collector William K. Everson found an incomplete print of the film, and later in the 80s the original negative was found and has now been released on home video. Match Day Squads, 1916, status, completely lost. A Night of Horror is yet another German expressionist silent horror film that is completely lost today. Aside from some stills and promotional material, not much has survived about this film. Martin, 1977, cut. Lost. George Romero's 1977 horror film Martin originally had more content in an extended cut. The final cut of the film was an hour and 35 minutes long, but an additional 70 minutes were cut from the film. These scenes were all filmed in black and white, though the rest of the film was filmed in color, aside from the flashback scenes. This cut was presumed to be lost until recently in October of 2021. Cinematographer of the film Michael Gornick found the extended director's cut, and it's reportedly been digitally transferred, though there doesn't seem any plans to release it. My bloody Valentine, 1981. Deleted scenes. Status. Partially lost. The original cut for My Bloody Valentine was considered too violent to receive an R rating, so the MPAA requested that the film be trimmed down. The uncensored version was considered highly sought after by horror fans, and in 2009 the extended kills would be released on Lionsgate's DVD. The only scenes that weren't included were the non-kill deleted scenes, which included 6 minutes of exposition, which have still not been released. A sequel to the 1976 Jaws ripoff, Grizzly 2 was a 1983 movie starring a young George Clooney and Laura Dern that was finished but was never released. In 1987, Cannon bought the rights to distribute it, but quickly forgot about releasing it due to the financial difficulties they were facing. In 2007, a work print bootleg VHS tape of the film was leaked onto the internet, though it was obviously incomplete. In 2020, the film received a proper remaster by GBGB. Canary Falls, uncensored version, status, completely lost. The film Cherry Falls was censored in its theatrical release, mostly when it came to the violence and sex being trimmed down. 
This uncensored cut of the film has never been released. The Scream Factory tried to release it in their 2016 Blu-ray, but were unable to do it. Deadly friend, original cut, status, partially lost. Wes Craven's 1986 sci-fi horror film Deadly Friend originally was set to be more tame and subtle in its original cut, as Craven wanted the film to be focused on the romance aspect. Test audiences, who were fans of Craven's previous work, were confused that there wasn't any bloodshed or gore, so Warner Brothers forced him to reshoot scenes to be more violent. The original cut of the film has never been released, although the original trailer and some behind-the-scenes photos give us an idea of what it would have been like. Nobody ordered love. 1972. Status. Completely lost. Nobody Ordered Love was a 1972 horror exploitation comedy drama film that was made in Britain. All prints of the film were destroyed upon request from the director's will after his death in 1977, and all that remains of it today is this single frame of the film, and the full script which was sent to the BFI around 2012. The third installment of the Universal Pictures Frankenstein film was originally supposed to be filmed in color, but was cut due to Jack Pierce's makeup not looking good in color. It's theorized that some of the film was filmed in color, and was made black and white later, but these scenes have never been released, although there are some fan-made edits. There was a color test that was found in New Jersey, so we definitely know that they tried to attempt it. Friday the 13, part 13. 2017 production material status found. When Paramount reacquired the rights for the Friday the 13th films in 2013, they announced that they would make new films in the franchise, but these plans were eventually cancelled. This film would serve as a prequel to the original films, giving backstory to Jason's upbringing before he drowns in Camp Crystal Lake. The film was originally going to be filmed in Georgia, and directed by Breck Eisner, but Paramount kept pushing back the release date, and it was ultimately cancelled in 2017. The final full script was eventually found by Yoshikiller 2S in December of 2020, but early drafts are still lost. Tales from the Crypt. Dead Easy. Status. Completely lost. Tales from the Crypt Dead Easy was a cancelled 1997 film based on the TV series. The film was intended to be a follow-up to the previous 1995 film Demon Knight, but instead they followed it up with Bordello of Blood. The film was far in its pre-production stages, as at the end of Demon Knight, the Crypt Keeper says this at the end credits. And look out for my next motion picture, Dead Easy, coming very soon to a theater near you. The film was set to take place in New Orleans, and was reportedly cancelled because the film would have had an all-black cast, which was deemed not commercially viable at the time. Aside from the tease that the Crypt Keeper makes at the end, a magazine article, and these early cover arts, not much is known about this cancelled film. My friend the devil, 1922, status, completely lost. My friend the devil was a 1922 silent film produced by Fox. The only known print of the film was destroyed in the 1937 Fox Fault Fire, and all that exists of it today are some stills from the film and some posters. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, open bad version, status, partially lost. Like many films, the Rocky Horror Picture Show was shot in an open matte version, which basically means that the film was shot in 4x3, and had the top and bottom matted out to achieve a widescreen effect. Again, many films have done this, and as is the case with many of these films, the original open matte version has never been released. A single clip from the open matte version has survived, but it's a low quality black and white TV rip. XM, 1992, Axum is an infamous 1992 independent horror film that was made with a budget of $650. The film was originally titled and released as The Weekend It Lives, but in 2003 it was re-edited into Axum for its DVD release, which was very different from the original theatrical cut. The original cut of the film has never surfaced, though the re-edit of Axum has gained a cult following. A blind bargain, 1922, status, completely lost. Like mentioned in the first tier, A Blind Bargain was a 1922 silent horror film that starred Lon Chaney. 
like London After Midnight. The film was destroyed in the 1975 MGM Vault Fire, and all that exists of it today are these posters and stills. Cursed. 2005. Warwick and Milburgham. Status. Completely lost. Curse was a 2005 werewolf horror film directed by Wes Craven. The film started production in early 2003, and by summer the filming was 90% complete. But Miramax was unhappy with the scenes they shot, so they ordered extensive rewrites and reshoots, which included changing up the plot, cutting out most of the original cast, and replacing the Rick Baker gory effects with CGI to secure PG-13 rating. Though the original cut is said to be archived, it has and probably never will be released, due to the copyright stuff involving Miramax, and the film itself not being popular enough for a major re-release. Power of the Werewolf, 1990, status, found. Power of the Wolf was a 1990 Russian horror found footage film that was thought to be lost for several years, as the film only aired a couple of times in Moscow in the 90s. A widespread search for the film was conducted in 2016, however it wasn't until 2021 when the film was released by director Igor S. after some negotiations with the State Film Fund in Russia. The film is now available to be viewed online. The Amusement Park, 1975, status, found. The Amusement Park was a 1975 documentary horror film by George Romero, and was a film commissioned by the Lutheran Service Society of Western Pennsylvania about the topic of elder abuse. The film was presumed to be lost until a 16mm print was discovered in 2017, and was given a proper re-release in 2019. The stuff, the deleted scenes, status, found. In the 1985 film The Stuff, about half an hour of footage was cut out by director Larry Cohen. These scenes have never been released on subsequent home video releases of the film, but in 2021, the extended cut was found by Denver Film, and it's been rumored that this cut will be released soon. Evil Dead, 1981, in Sam Raimi's 1981 horror film The Evil Dead, when Ash and company are listening to the tape for the first time, the scene was filmed with the characters smoking weed, and Raimi actually had everybody blaze up on set. Since a lot of the actors, including Bruce Campbell, never smoked weed before, they got super high and the filming for the scene didn't go well, so Raimi reshot it. There are still some fragments of this shoot in the final film though. Basically any shot with smoke in it is from this infamous shoot, but the full scene has never been released and is probably lost now. Five nights at Freddy's films early scripts. Status. Completely lost. Though the Five Nights at Freddy's film was released last year, Hollywood has been trying to adapt the franchise in film form since 2015. There have been several scripts that were written, and though each one has a synopsis, none of them have been fully leaked. Layer 4, the curse of Frankenstein, acid bath scene, status, completely lost. The Curse of Frankenstein was Hammer's first Frankenstein film, and at the time it was the darkest adaptation of the book, but it was censored upon release. The acid bath scene was a scene in which Dr. Frankenstein shaved down the head of his first body by submerging him into acid. The scene was deemed too violent for its TV release, and was cut from all prints of the film and is now lost, aside from this one screenshot. Horror of Dracula, extended death scene, status, found. Similar to the last entry, Hammer's first Dracula movie was also censored for its theatrical release. In particular, the ending when Van Helsing kills Dracula was cut down due to the violence, though international prints still contain the full scene. One print in particular was found in Japan, and the scene has been partially restored in the 2012 extended cut of the film, and the original Japanese film reel is viewable today online. UFO Abduction was a 1989 horror film that was instrumental in the modern found footage horror film genre. The original plan was to release the film in 1989, but the distributors behind the film had a fire that destroyed the original master copy, but a VHS rip of the film did survive. The film was pretty rare in its early days, but it gained a cult following in the UFO conspiracy community, many believing it to be a real tape, and now you can watch the film easily today. Yeah, 
Amendment of Pestilence, 1963, status, partially lost. Amity the Pestilence was a Canadian horror film released in 1963 and was reportedly the first color film in the country's history. It was shot in both French and English, but it never got a widespread release either theatrically or on home video. It was broadcasted on TV a couple of times, and a supposed VHS copy of the film was found at the Library and Archives of Canada, but reportedly this VHS has deteriorated and is no longer viewable. All we have in the film today are the screen grabs and the behind the scenes photos. Screen 27, 2011, status, partially lost. Screen 27 was a 2011 music video by musician Daimonda Gallus off of his 1995 album Scree X. Aside from this teaser and this 4 minute segment, the full film has never seen an official release. Clive Barker's 1990 horror film Nightbreed has several cuts to choose from, but the most famous is the infamous Cabal cut. The theatrical cut runs at about 102 minutes, while the Cabal cut adds almost an extra hour to the runtime. The footage from this cut was considered to be lost, until in 2009 when two VHS work print cuts of the film were discovered, and an edited version of this work print cut made its way to the internet in 2012. In 2013, a proper remaster of the cut scenes were released on Shout Factory's DVD and Blu-ray release, though it only contains half of the footage from the previously mentioned work prints. The original ending for the 1997 horror film Cube features Kazan walking onto a beach, only to be revealed to be on a purple alien planet. This ending was an urban legend amongst fans of the film, many citing that it was present in the original theatrical release of the film, and citing the film's early poster as proof of this. Director Vincenzo Natali confirmed that he personally cut this scene from later releases of the film, and destroyed the prints to which it is still lost to this day. The scene in Jaws where Alex, the kid on the yellow raft, is eaten by a shark in broad daylight for everyone to see, is one of the most effective scenes in the film. Originally the scene was way more violent, showing more blood than what appeared in the final cut of the film, and the only surviving proof of this are these behind the scenes photos. Some say this was because of the violence of the scene, some say it was because the shark never worked, and some say it was a deliberate choice by Spielberg to give more intrigue and mystery to the shark before we see him in full during the climax. La Posita, 1991, status, lost. La Posita was a 1991 Venezuelan psychological TV horror film. Aside from a one minute trailer, the film is completely lost. The creature from the Black Lagoon cancelled sequel and reboots production material status completely lost. Throughout the years, there have been many attempts to reboot the classic universal horror film The Creature from the Black Lagoon, whether it be John Landis, John Carpenter, Peter Jackson, Guillermo del Toro, or James Gunn, many have attempted to remake or reboot the classic film since the 80s, but to no avail. The production materials for these cancelled films are still lost, and the only proof of a lot of these are from the director's own statements over the years. Phantasmagoria The Visions of Lewis Carroll was an unmade film by Marilyn Manson based on Alice in Wonderland. The trailer alone was so controversial that the film was never finished, and all that exists of it today is this trailer. Little Shop of Horrors, a new stamped unreleased production material, status, partially lost. Most people know about the original ending for Little Shop of Horrors, but many don't know about the other unused and unreleased production material surrounding the film. This includes Alan Menken and Howard Ashman's early songs, that didn't make it into the final film, as well as Ashman's 1985 screenplay for the film itself. Some of the material has been released over the years, while others haven't. Hellraiser, deleted scenes, status, partially lost. 
Clive Barker's original cut of Hellraiser was originally way more violent than what was in the final cut of the film. Barker claims that the uncensored cut is lost, but one extended scene has survived, that being an extended scene of Frank being ripped to shreds, which was found and released on a German Blu-ray of the film. Frankenstein, 1931, Bela Lugosi test real footage, status, completely lost. Bela Lugosi was originally considered for the role as the monster in Universal's first Frankenstein film, but allegedly declined because of the heavy use of makeup, a decision that Lugosi later deeply regretted. Though he would later play the monster in Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, there was originally 20 minutes worth of test footage that was filmed on the set of Dracula, which features Lugosi in the makeup, which is now completely lost. The real Blair Witch, 2003, status, partially lost. In 2002, five teenagers in Flint, Michigan, kidnapped and terrorized a girl and filmed it in a found footage style to imitate the film The Blair Witch Project. The five college students were charged with kidnapping and assault. The story was huge at the time, and in 2003 a documentary called The Real Blair Witch was aired on TV. This full documentary, which features the footage from the tape, has made its way to the internet, but the full film of the kidnapping hasn't. Children of the Corn, 1984, Blue Man Scene, Status, Completely Lost. In Children of the Corn, there was originally a scene where a character known as Blue Man is killed in a police station. Both this scene and his character were cut out of the film, and all that exists of it today is this one screenshot. Seven, decapitated head scene, existence, debunked. In the famous ending to David Fincher's Seven, Mills opens the box and sees his wife's head. In the final film, we don't see the head itself, but for years it was rumored that they did shoot this scene, as a sculpt prop that Gwyneth Paltrow's head was made. But this supposed scene has been debunked countless times. However, there is a disturbing lost scene that Fincher actually did film. Alien 3, no autopsy scene, status, completely lost. This wasn't on the chart, but I thought I would include it. Alien 3 had a pretty notorious production, with 20th Century Fox making changes to Fincher's vision on a daily basis. The film was heavily edited for its theatrical release, but the assembly cut, a rough cut of the film, was included on its DVD release years later. One scene that didn't make it in either cut of the film was the extended scene of Newt's autopsy. Originally, we were supposed to see everything in graphic detail as per Fincher's vision, but in the final film, it was obviously cut down. We know this scene was filmed since there was a realistic dummy of Newt's dead body. Final destination, Alex Browning helicopter decapitation scene, status, completely lost. In the first Final Destination film, Alex was originally supposed to be decapitated by a helicopter, but in the final film he survives till the end. This ending has never been released, but another ending depicts Alex being killed by electrocution. This scene was later released on DVD. Child's Play, production material of Capsule Reboot, status, completely lost. Before the 2019 reboot, in 2010, MGM were planning to reboot the Child's Play IP, but because of rights issues, it was cancelled. Not much is known about this film other than that, as no production material is available. Sam Ken Smith, 2008, status, partially lost. Sinjin Smith was an unfinished horror film starring Roddy Piper and Jonathan Davis. The film was never finished due to financial difficulties, though there's been a scene that's been leaked online. The Blair Witch Project, Amazon deleted scenes, status, partially lost. The Blair Witch Project originally had a deleted scene that was only viewable on its release to Amazon. According to the description of the scene, it wasn't anything major, but around 2002 or 2003, the scene was no longer viewable on Amazon, but a brief moment of it was featured on this Entertainment Tonight report. The Ghost Raider, 1922, status, completely lost. This is yet another silent film adaptation of the 1909 Broadway play, and like the 1914 one we've already gone over, it is also completely lost today. All that remains are the posters and some stills. The Omen, 2006, 
500 feet of film footage. Status completely lost. As if the original Omen wasn't cursed enough, the 2006 remake also had its fair share of production troubles as well. For the scene where Robert finds the devil's birthmark on Damien, the original takes of the scene, which was about 13,500 feet of film, was destroyed when the film was being processed. This scene was later refilmed, but of course the original shot footage will remain lost forever. Hashtag Killer 2014 status partially lost. Hashtag iKiller was an unreleased 2014 found footage horror film. The only thing that has been released about this film was its trailer. A clockwork orange, deleted scenes, status, partially lost. Several scenes were removed and destroyed by Stanley Kubrick for his 1971 film A Clockwork Orange. These scenes were straight adaptations from the book, so we still have a general idea of what they would have been about. We also have these behind the scenes photos and stills from these scenes, which is all that remains of them today. While Paris sleeps, 1923, status, completely lost. While Paris sleeps is a lost 1923 silent film starring Lon Chaney. All that remains of the film today are these stills and posters, though sometimes this film is confused with the 1932 talkie remake of the same name. Mr. Sardonicus, merciful ending, existence, unconfirmed. William Castle's 1961 horror film Mr. Sardonicus originally had an ending where the audience themselves got to decide the fate of the characters. Well, sort of. Audiences were given a punishment poll to determine the fate of Mr. Sardonicus, and they either held a thumbs up or a thumbs down. In reality, the film's ending was determined from the start, and this fourth wall break was to give the audiences the illusion that they had a choice. Castle was known for doing these sort of fourth wall breaks in his movies all the time, such as the Tingler where he plays buzzers in the seats. In the final film, we only see Sardonicus get punished more for his actions, but supposedly there was another ending where Sardonicus is given mercy. The ending's existence has been debated upon for years whether it was even filmed, and today it's mostly a mystery. Yet another lost F.W. Murnau film, The Hunchback and the Dancer was a 1920 German Expressionist silent film. The film is completely lost today, although there are still some stills and posters. Cavrino, blocked from the underworld, 2017, status, partially lost. This is a 2017 Russian horror film that, aside from its trailer, has never been released. Status completely lost. The Ghoul was a 1933 Filipino horror film that is now lost, aside from a single still and a single poster. Presley, 1976. Deleted scenes. Status completely lost. We've already covered Grizzly 2, but what about the first one? The first film has a lot of gory effects in the final cut, but still a lot was censored, mainly the extended kills. Some of these have resurfaced while others haven't. Castle Sinister, 1932. Status, completely lost. Castle Sinister was one of the first British produced talkie horror films, but unfortunately today it is now lost. The only proof of this film's existence is this 1932 review by Bioscope. Lee Mask Day Warrior, 1912. Status, completely lost. The Mask of Horror was a 1912 French silent horror film that is now completely lost. All that exists of it today is this very poster. Blood Circus, 1985. Status, partially lost. Blood Circus is a 1985 wrestling science fiction horror film, produced by Rigatuso Santa Gold. Though the film is mostly lost, there's still 20 minutes of footage available to watch today, though it's just a low quality VHS rip. Though reportedly there are 35mm prints out there. The Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, Deleted Scenes, Status, Partially Lost. The fourth Nightmare on Elm Street film originally had a scene where Alice has a dream about her father apologizing to her before Freddy interrupts. 
The original script had several scenes that were never filmed, but this one was, as there are some behind the scenes photos proving so. The date of madness, 1926, status, found. One of the most instrumental horror films in Japanese cinematic history, A Page of Madness was considered to be lost for over 40 years. In 1971, a print was discovered by director Tinosuke Kinugaza in a rice barrel of all places. But about a third of the film is still lost today. The Mummy's Duncan, 1993, status, found. The Mummy's Dungeon was a 1993 independent shaman video horror film. The film was given a very limited release on VHS, but in 2002, the film was officially uploaded to the internet. The Return of the Minor, My Bloody Valentine 2 script, status, completely lost. My Bloody Valentine 3D was originally going to get a sequel, and though the remake was successful, it never got greenlit. Screenwriter Todd Farmer had allegedly fully completed the script for the sequel, called The Return of the Minor, My Bloody Valentine 2, but it never got made and the script has never surfaced online. The Cry in the Night, 1915, status, completely lost. The Cry in the Night is a 1915 science fiction horror film directed by Ernest J. Balti. Literally nothing about this film has survived, but the plot was apparently about a detective who's trying to find a mad scientist whose flying gorilla killed the girl's father. The Rotting Woman, 2002, status, completely lost. The Rotting Woman was a 2002 found footage horror short film. It was directed by Joel Anderson, who later made Lake Mundo, but aside from that, not much is known about this lost film. Dies Brat is a lost 1913 German silent horror film. The film was banned by the German government, and nothing aside from the film's plot survived. My soul to take the deleted scenes, status, completely lost. I couldn't really find anything on this either. The closest I could find were five deleted scenes that were included on the Blu-ray extras, but that's about it. Dead Silence was an independent 1989 shot on video horror film that was lost until around 2017 when it was re-released. The Pike, 1982, status, completely lost. The Pike was a 1982 Joss ripoff that was never made. All that exists of it today are these promotional shots with Joanne Collins posing with the Pike animatronic. Warlock, the deleted scenes, status. Warlock was a 1989 fantasy horror film that's death scenes were censored. There's some extended footage of some of these scenes in the trailer for the film, but aside from that, not much is known about them. Misty Darkness, 1988, status, found. Misty Darkness was a 1988 shot on video horror film by Todd Sheets. At some time, this film was considered lost, but it is now available via SOB Horror's Blu-ray release. The Gaira Ghost Mystery, 1921, status, completely lost. The Gaira Ghost Mystery was an Australian silent horror film based on the real-life offense on the Bowman family's paranormal encounter with a ghost in their home of Gaira, New South Wales. The story was huge at the time, and the film was a rush production to capitalize on that, even being filmed on location at the same house. But the film didn't do well, and it's now lost, and only this single promotional image survives. The Witch, 1916, status, completely lost. The Witch was a 1916 Russian horror silent film, directed by Alexander Penteliev and G. Bogdanov. Not much is known about the film today, but it is often confused with the American film bearing the same name and released the same year. The Beatle, 1919, status, completely lost. The Beatle was an early British horror film that was based on the successful book of the same name, but aside from this newspaper review, the film is completely lost. The Mystery House number 5, 1912, status, found. The Mystery House No. 5 was a Russian horror film released in 1912. 
it was considered lost for over a hundred years, until very recently in 2023, when the full film was found by a Discord user, who requested the film from the State Film Fund of Russia, and now you can watch the full thing online. Desire is yet again another one of F.W. Murnau's lost films. All that exists of the film today is the film's German poster and a single frame from the film. Laser Blast 2, 1980, status, completely lost. Laser Blast 2 was a planned 1980 sequel to the infamously bad sci-fi B-movie. Aside from this promotional poster, which also had a plot summary, not much is known about the film, and the production material for it is now lost. In 2008, a straight-to-video sequel to The Craft was in the works, but it was ultimately cancelled, but a reboot would be released in 2020. Not much is known about this one besides that. Layer 5, Falling, 2008, Status, Partially Lost. Falling was a 2008 independent film by Mormon filmmaker Richard Dutcher, and was marketed as the first R-rated Mormon movie. Aside from its limited 2008 theatrical run, the film has never been released on home video, due to Dutcher's own dissatisfaction with the project, and aside from its trailer, nothing about the film has been released. In 2015, Dutcher would sue Universal, because he viewed that the 2014 film Nightcrawler plagiarized his film, but this case was dismissed. The original ending for the 1999 film Deep Blue Sea originally had Susan deliver the final blow to the shark, but test audiences hated this ending, suggesting that the film should have killed her off. They reshot the ending to have Susan be killed by the shark, while the character Preacher executes the killing blow. This original ending has never been released, although there's a single photo proving that the scene was shot. In the 90s, id Software's Doom was a hugely successful game, and apparently both Universal and TriStar wanted to produce a film based on the games. In 1995, Universal obtained the film rights, with Ivan Reitman set to direct and Arnold Schwarzenegger set to star, with the plot being focused around Bradlin Weaver's Doom novels. In 1997, the rights were picked up by TriStar, but two years later, the Doom games would be widely blamed for the Columbine Massacre, as the two killers were avid fans of the game. Eventually in 2005, a Doom movie by Universal starring Dwayne Johnson was released. So for Vagrant Blast Offensive Status Completely Lost in Saw 4, one of the traps was originally supposed to be one of the victims naked, in a clear coffin full of broken glass with the key being hidden in the glass. It was believed that this scene was cut because of the MPAA, but it was later revealed to be a thematic removal from the filmmakers. All we have in the scene today are these photos, but the trap was later implemented in the following film. Spider-Man 1985 Cancelled Horror Film Treatments Status completely lost. In 1985, Canon planned to make a Spider Man based horror film. Instead of Peter Parker becoming a superhero when bit by the spider, he was instead supposed to turn into a body horror like human spider hybrid with eight limbs. They were allegedly planning for Toby Hooper to direct and Tom Cruise to star as Peter Parker, but it didn't get made due to Ken's financial problems, as well as Stan Lee's disapproval, and nothing about the treatments for the film have been released. The thing, 2011, practical cut, status, completely lost. I'm kinda surprised this is so down on the chart, but here we go. The 2011 prequel to The Thing was originally shot with all practical effects, just like the 1982 film, but test audiences were very negative towards the effects, and Universal demanded that the film's practical effects be replaced with digital ones. The practical cut has never been released, but it is highly coveted by many. Photo Heartbeat, 1973, status, found. 
The Voodoo Heartbeat, also known as the Sex Serum of Dr. Blake, was an unreleased 1973 exploitation horror film. The film was thought to be lost, but in 2023, Vinegar Syndrome released it on a Blu-ray set. War of the Worlds, 2005, Camelot scene, status, completely lost. The Camelot scene was a cut scene in the 2005 Spielberg remake of War of the Worlds. It was supposed to be featured between the fairy scene and the hill battle scene, but it was cut from the final film, though some of the VFX shots were finished. The only thing we have of the scene are these behind the scenes photos. X, the man with X ray eyes, alternate ending, existence, debunked. X, the man with X ray eyes, was rumored to have an alternate ending for the film that was spread by Stephen King in his book Dance Macabre. Roger Corman, the director of the film, disproved that the ending ever existed in a 2017 interview. The Manson Massacre, original English version, status, partially lost. The Manson Massacre was a 1971 exploitation film based on the Manson family murders. The film was said to be completely lost for many years, until a German print of the film was found as well as an English trailer, but the full English film has never been found. Vi is a 1909 Russian silent film, and was one of the first science fiction films in Russia's history. Aside from the film's poster and a single still from the film, it is now completely lost. It's also important to mention that the film was remade twice, so the posters and stills could be from the 1912 or the 1916 versions as well. They appear later in the chart, but little is known about these either, so I'm just going to combine them here. Rob Zombie's The Blob, 2009, status, completely lost. In 2009, Rob Zombie was set to write and potentially direct a remake of the 1958 movie The Blob, which had already received the remake in 1988. Zombie was dissatisfied with the project, likely due to his past experiences with his Halloween remake, so he walked away from the project and not much is known about it today. The original soundtrack for the 1980s slasher film Prom Night was thought to be lost for many years, until users found out that the soundtrack was released on vinyl and cassette in Japan, and is now available online to listen to, although the quality is hit or miss. The instrumentals are lost and the singer for the song Time to Turn Around is unknown, but aside from that the soundtrack is available to listen online. Lucifer Rising was an experimental short film by Kenneth Anger, and the story behind this film is pretty crazy, and way too much to cover here in this segment. To cut it short, the original cut of the film was stolen in 1967, from Anger by star Bobby Boussole, who would later join the Manson family and carry out the murder of Gary Hinman. The original cut is partially available today, titled Invocation of My Demon Brother, though some footage is still lost. The Will of the Dead Man is a Spanish version of the already mentioned film The Cat Creeps. Unlike the English version, this version is completely lost, aside from some posters and stills. Cards of Death. Cards of Death was a 1986 shot on video slasher film that was only released on VHS in Japan, even though it was made in America. The Japanese VHS is very rare, but in 2015, a rip of the tape was uploaded to the internet, and you can now watch it today. The Thriller Killer, 1979, status. Found. I couldn't find much on this film being lost at all. It was banned and censored in the UK, but the uncut version was released in 2003. Uncut version. Status. Completely lost. David Lynch's 1977 film Eraserhead originally had an hour and 40 minute cut that hasn't been released. 
Aside from early screenings, not many have seen the original cut of this film, and Lynch has distanced himself from this cut, though it is reportedly still archived. Assistant camerawoman Catherine Coulson said that the full cut of the film would be released on the 2000 DVD, but this never came to be, and this cut has never been released. Maximum overdrive, uncut version, status, completely lost. Maximum Overdrive was Stephen King's directorial debut, and had a lot of scenes that were cut from the film, mostly the gory deaths, as reportedly the scenes were so gruesome that even George Romero was disgusted by them, which says a lot. This extended unrated cut has never been released. Slender Man, deleted scenes, status, partially lost. The 2008 Slenderman film was originally supposed to be R-rated before Sony demanded a PG-13 cut, and to also avoid the controversy of the 2014 stabbings. There's some deleted stuff from the film that has resurfaced, but there's still a lot that hasn't. Gnomes attack, 2013, status, partially lost. Gnomes attack was a 2013 cancelled Australian horror film. Aside from the trailer, not much is known about it. Child's play, Jessica Walters voice aligns, status, completely lost. As mentioned before in Layer 2, instead of Brad Dourif voicing Chucky in his doll form, it was originally supposed to be Jessica Walters who voiced the character. Like mentioned before, Tess audiences didn't like it, and her voice was later replaced with Dourif's. To this day, her voice lines have never resurfaced. Scream 2, Warrior MPAA cut. Status. Completely lost. In Scream 2, there was a bigger emphasis placed on the killings being more extreme than the first film, to parody how horror sequels often amp up the violence from their previous installments. Craven had issues with the first Scream and the MPAA, so Craven just decided to screw with them this time by making the film super violent on purpose, so that it would trick them into passing their original intended version, basically cutting out all the scenes they already wanted to cut out. For example, in this cut of the film, when Omar Epps gets stabbed in the ear, he gets stabbed three times as opposed to a single time in the final film. The strategy seemed to have worked, but the MPAA made cut has never been released. The blob, 1988, deleted extended death scenes, status, completely lost. The 1988 remake of The Blob had some pretty brutal death scenes, but supposedly there were extended death scenes that were cut for being too gory. All we have of them today are these behind the scenes special effects photos. The Exorcist 3, Headless Priest scene, status, completely lost. Originally in The Exorcist 3, they shot a scene in which we actually see the decapitated priest head, but in the final film it's off screen when the detectives find it. It's rumored that this scene was in early foreign prints of the film, but for now all we have are these two photos. An American Werewolf in London remake, status, completely lost. In 2016, Max Landis, filmmaker and son of John Landis, announced that he would be making a remake to his father's 1981 film An American Werewolf in London. His father apparently advised him not to do it, and after the release of his 2017 film Bright, Max Landis was hit with a variety of allegations derailing his career, so it's likely we'll never get this film. Mayor Dark, 2008 remake, existence. Unconfirmed. In 2008, there was supposed to be a remake of Catherine Bigelow's 1987 film Near Dark to cash in on the success of the recent Twilight films. Barely anything about this supposed cancelled remake is known, and some reports state that the film started filming in 2007, before it was cancelled while some say otherwise. Ride of Frankenstein, deleted scenes, status, partially lost. The original cut of Bride of Frankenstein was actually 12 minutes longer than the final cut. This included at least 10 additional deaths not shown in the movie, and two love scenes between the couple. Aside from behind the scenes photos, this cut is completely lost. La Perica del Weir La Murt, 1916, status, completely lost. The Deck of Death was a 1916 Chilean film, and was based on a crime committed in the city of Santiago. 
Because of this, the film was banned by the Santiago government for featuring depictions of the crimes in great detail, and that's partially why it remains lost today, aside from some ads and stills from the film. The weird ones. 1962. Status. Completely lost. The Weird Ones is a 1962 sci-fi horror exploitation film that is now completely lost aside from these posters. All copies were presumed to be burned in a San Antonio garage fire. The Alchemist Hallucination is yet another lost film by Georges Méliès. The film is now lost, but you may see clips of it floating around online, which is actually from Méliès' following 1906 film The Alchemist and the Demon. Opea, 1935. Status. Completely lost. Obey is a lost 1935 adventure horror film. Aside from these two photos, the film is completely lost. On the other side was a 2008 Russian horror film that was never released. It was completely finished but was cancelled right before its planned premiere in 2008. In 2021, the film was found and is now available to watch online. The Shadow of the Desert, originally titled The Shadow of the East, was a silent 1924 horror film produced by Fox. Aside from these posters, the film is completely lost. Metal Noir, 1990, status, found. Metal Noir was a 1990s shot on video horror film. It had a limited VHS release and it was supposed to be lost for many years, but like Misty Darkness, it was found and re-released on Blu-ray by SOV Horror. Sleepaway Camp, 1983 soundtrack, status, found. Like Prom Night, Sleepaway Camp also had a lost soundtrack that was also found. The film's full soundtrack was recovered in January of 2015. The System of Dr. Gordron was a 1913 silent French horror film that was based on an old Edgar Allan Poe short story. The film was critically and commercially successful, and was even released in the US as The Lunatics. But even with all that, the film is completely lost today, and all we have are these posters and stills. The Keep, 1983, Michael Mann's 1983 film The Keep was originally 210 minutes long, but the final film clocks in at a standard 90 minutes. Paramount requested a 2 hour cut, which eventually turned into a 90 minute cut due to test screenings, which resulted in many plot holes and audio and editing errors in the final film. The director's cut and the original soundtrack are now lost, and there doesn't seem to be any plans to release it. The Mysteries of Myra, 1916, status. The Mysteries of Myra was a 1916 silent film serial, directed by Leopold and Theodore Wharton, that ran for 15 episodes. Only three of these episodes have survived, as the remaining 12 are still lost. Figures of the Night was a 1920 German horror film, and along with The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, the film is credited with starting the German Expressionist movement in cinema. The film is now lost, and all that survives of it today are these posters and screenshots. The Burning, 1981 soundtrack, status, partially lost. The Burning was a 1981 film whose soundtrack is now partially lost. Rick Wakeman's soundtrack of the film has been released on CD, but it's missing some of the songs and others sound way different from what appeared in the final film. The Ancestress is a 1919 silent Austrian film that is now partially lost. Though 50 minutes of the film have survived, the remaining 30 have not. 
The Ghost of the Hunchback was a 1965 Japanese film, whose original Japanese audio was lost for many years. For a while, the only surviving print of the film was believed to be an Italian version that was dubbed over, but the film also had a limited VHS and DVD release in Japan, which was widely released in January of 2023. Amulet was a 1991 Russian horror film that was thought to be lost for several years. The film resurfaced 30 years later during a presentation on director Nikola Rafshiv's filmography, where the film was shown in said presentation. Since then, the film has been screened at multiple film festivals, before finally being uploaded to the internet in May of 2023. The the Afterlife Wanderer was a silent 1915 Russian vampire horror film that is now lost. The film was apparently negatively received, and I couldn't find any photos of it. The Peacemaker, 1986, status, partially lost. The Peacemaker was a cancelled 1986 film by Orion Pictures that was reportedly going to be either directed by Brian De Palma or Toby Hooper. The film was cancelled due to Orion's financial difficulties, and though some footage was shot, the film became abandoned. There is, however, some footage that is viewable today. Royal Ghost Legend, 1968, Ghost Legend is a 1968 surreal Japanese horror film that had a very limited VHS release and was rarely shown on Japanese TV. There were some expensive listings of the film on Amazon JP, but in September of 2022, a guy uploaded a rip of the film online. Body of a female, 1964, status, completely lost. Body of a female was a 1964 exploitation film that is now lost. Aside from these posters and these production stills, the film is now completely lost. Revenge of Bigfoot. 1979, status, partially lost. Revenge of Bigfoot is a partially lost 1979 Bigfoot horror film. A large portion of the film has been uploaded to the internet, but a majority of it is still lost. Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood, Deleted Scenes, status, partially lost. Friday the 13th Part 7 was heavily altered for its theatrical release by the MPAA, mostly by cutting out the gory effects. These extended kill scenes were later released on the first Blu-ray collection of the films, but unfortunately they're in terrible quality, and you can barely see what's going on. The film prints of these shots are still lost, but at least we have some idea on what these scenes would have been like if they weren't censored in the final film. Of a file, status, the Range was a 1974 psychological horror film based loosely on Ed Gein. For the longest time, the film was presumed to be lost, until a print was found in Florida in the mid-90s, and was later re-released by MGM. Poltergeist, 1982, deleted scenes, status, completely lost. The original Poltergeist had several deleted scenes that never made it into the final cut. The only three scenes that were confirmed to be shot was an alternate scene where when Diana floats to the ceiling, there was originally supposed to be tentacles that never made it into the film, a scene where Marty appears to get possessed, and a scene that features actor Edward Ashley, who was cut from the film. These scenes have never resurfaced, aside from a low-quality rip of the Edward Ashley scene. Layer 6 Corpse Eaters was a 1974 exploitation zombie horror film that had violent and gory scenes cut out of the film. The uncensored negatives of the film are archived at both the Library and Archives of Canada and the Kinsey Institute of Indiana University, but due to copyright reasons, the prints won't be released till the film enters public domain. Go and Get It was a 1920 silent film that was said to be completely lost for several years. 
Aside from these posters and stills, nothing about the film was viewable until 2022 when a short 13 second clip was uploaded to YouTube. The film has been archived and rarely screened at the Cineteca Italiana Film Archive in Italy, but it still hasn't been published to the internet. Galaxy of Terror, uncensored version, status, partially lost. Galaxy of Terror has an infamous scene in which a character gets nervous to death by a giant alien worm, but originally the scene was longer than what appeared in the final film. The scene was cut down by the MPAA. Specifically in the original cut, Damia is seen to enjoy the sex from the worm, but in the final film it appears that she's completely non-consenting, with no arousal in sight. The full scene is still lost today, aside from some stock footage that was included in the 1988 film Not of This Earth, which features the footage in a montage segment, since the film was also produced by Roger Corman. Zillow, for the 120 days of Sodom, deleted scenes, status, completely lost. Salo, or The 120 Days of Sodom, was a highly controversial film for its era, and has been banned in several countries due to its content. There's allegedly a cut of the film that's about 20 to 30 minutes longer than the final film, but I couldn't find much on this. What I did find was this alternate ending that was cut from the final film, and all that survives of it is this photo, which depicts a wedding between the magistrate and one of the male victims. The Commune is yet another 70s exploitation film inspired by the Manson murders, and is now completely lost aside from these ads. The film was directed by Monroe Beeler, who mostly directed gay porn in the San Francisco area, and this film in particular has not been seen since its California premiere in the early 70s. Kansas City Lander Massacre, 1986, and Tales, Lost. Kansas City Blunder Massacre and Chainsaw Tales were two shot on video horror films by Todd Sheets, who also did Misty Darkness if you remember. Unlike Misty Darkness, these two films are completely lost, and not much is known about them. The Weekend with Strange Curse, 1971, status, partially lost. A Weekend with Strangers is a 1971 lost pornographic horror film. Aside from this trailer and this poster, the film is now completely lost. Sinister, 2012, uncut Super 8 tapes, status, partially lost. In the 2012 film Sinister, there are several scenes that use Super 8 footage to flesh out the story, in which we're shown very disturbing imagery. There's a lot that's shown in the film, but there's potentially a lot of stuff that is cut out of these scenes, but I couldn't find much about them. I literally couldn't find anything about this film. The Last House on the Left, 1972, deleted scenes, status, partially lost. Wes Craven's 1972 film The Last House on the Left had some footage cut out of it, mostly due to the sexual violence. Some of these scenes have been restored in the DVD release of the film, while others are still lost. Jacob's Ladder, 1990, deleted scenes, status, partially lost. The 1990 film Jacob's Ladder had 20 minutes of footage that was cut out for its theatrical release. Three of these scenes have been released as DVD extras, while eight other scenes remain lost, though there's remains of them in some of the trailers and this behind the scenes documentary. The only thing I could find about this was the 1978 TV movie of the same name, which is far from lost today. Straw Dogs, 1971, extended cut, status, completely lost. Straw Dogs was a controversial film for its time, and the BBFC forced director Sam Peckinpah to cut out footage for its theatrical release, and ended up cutting out a second movie scene and an extended death scene. Both of these scenes are now lost and have not been released. Dracula, 1971, status, completely lost. 
Dracula was a 1971 gay vampire horror film by Jim Moss. Aside from this poster in the cast of the film, it's completely lost. K-12 is a 2019 musical horror film, for Melanie Martinez's album of the same name. The final film is 90 minutes long, but there was apparently a 3 hour long script for the film, and according to other sources, there's a 5 hour long one too. This 3 hour or 5 hour long script has never been released. Orton's Forest was a 2005 short film that was found a couple years ago, and you can now watch it online today. Yeah, I couldn't really find anything on this one either. For a while, it was assumed that the 2006 limited DVD release of Sojo Tsubaki was the 1994 censored version, but director Hiroshi Harada disproved this, as the only delayed scenes from the film were the elements that were shown in carnival-like settings when the film premiered at film festivals. The Clock Tower games were some of the most influential in the survival horror genre of video games, and in 2008 a film adaptation was announced. It was going to be directed by David R. Ellis, and was going to be based on the second and third games. It was expected to be a 2010 or 2012 release date, but aside from that, nothing is known about the cancelled film. Metro 2033, 20 inscript, status, completely lost. The Metro games are a successful series of post-apocalyptic Russian horror games. In 2018, a script was written for an MGM-produced film adaptation, but the original creator of the franchise, Dmitry Gluhovsky, heavily disliked it, citing that the adaptation Americanized his world. The script has never been released. Snails was a cancelled 70s creature feature film where giant snails attacked the world. There was apparently some test footage shot for the film, showing early visual effects and a giant snail animatronic. Aside from these photos, the full test footage is lost. In 2014, during that year's San Diego Comic-Con, Tarantino announced that he was planning to make a sci-fi horror film, inspired by films like The Thing and Stalker. Aside from a later 2019 interview, Tarantino hasn't commented on the film, and given his trajectory to make his next film his last, it's likely that this project was cancelled and nothing about it has been leaked. Zombie Hunter 1 and 2, 1984, status, completely lost. Zombie Hunger 1 and 2 are two 1984 short films by Richard Kern. The films apparently had nothing to do with zombies, instead it's about heroin addiction. Aside from this single still from one of the films, both of these films are now lost. Dead, the high cost of living, screenplay, status, completely lost. Death, the High Cost of Living was a comic by Neil Gaiman that was in the works to be adapted by New Line Cinema in the 2000s. Gaiman wrote the script himself and wanted to direct it, so he sought the advice of director Guillermo del Toro on how to direct the film. He would serve as the producer for the film, but the project would enter development hell, and when the script was completed in 2007, there was a writer's strike going on at the time, so the film got shelved and the script has never seen the light of day since. Amityville 2 had some pretty infamous delayed scenes that didn't make it into the final cut of the film. These scenes were purely added for shock value, and were forced to be cut out due to negative reactions from test screenings. The only scene that has been released was the lost soul scene. Aside from that, the original cut of the film is now lost. Status, partially lost. 
Tres Dias Sem Dios was a 1945 Portuguese film that was submitted and screened at the 1946 Cannes Film Festival, and only about 22 minutes of the film has survived, as the majority of it is now lost. Deeping Tom, uncut version, status, completely lost. The 1960 film Peeping Tom had some elements removed for its final cut. When Mark kills the model named Millie, she originally is shown to be naked, and the filmmakers were forced to reshoot the scene with her clothes on, though some of the original shots of the scene were included in later home video releases of the film. The full cut as a whole remains lost. The New York Center Vote Massacre, 1985, status, partially lost. The New York Centerfold Massacre was a shot on video horror film released in 1985. All that exists in the film today is 40 minutes of poor quality footage. Aside from that, the rest of the film is now lost. White Elephant, The Battle of the African Ghosts, 1984, status. White Elephant was a 1984 trauma comedy horror film by Warner Grouch. The film was thought to be lost because of its limited release, but a VHS rip was found in 2019 and uploaded to the internet. Venus in Verse, 1957, status, completely lost. Venus in Furs was a 1951 sexploitation film based on the Austrian novel of the same name. The novel has had several adaptations, especially around this time, but this one by Larry Buchanan is now lost. When Buchanan showed the film to the producers, they hated it so much that they destroyed the only film print. The only thing that exists of it today is this single behind the scenes photo. The Basilisks, 1914, status, completely lost. The Basilix was a 1914 British film, produced and directed by Cecil M. Hepworth. And aside from this and the plot, the film is completely lost. The Son of Satan, 1924, status, completely lost. A Son of Satan was a 1924 silent horror film, directed by Oscar Micheaux, meaning it could have been the first horror film directed by a black person starring an all-black cast. The movie was deemed way too shocking for audiences back in 1924. As a man chokes his wife to death, a cat is killed on screen, a KKK leader is killed, and the film featured miscegenation which was scandalous at the time. Aside from some newspaper ads, the film is unfortunately completely lost. Dr. Hackett, 1974, status, completely lost. God Bless Dr. Shagetz was a 1974 horror film that is now partially lost. Though the film is lost, some of the footage was later reused in the 1987 film Evil Town. Lights out, 1972, status, completely lost. Lights Out was a 1972 TV horror film that was reportedly aired only once. Lots of people over the years remember seeing the film on NBC back in the 70s, and have been trying to search for it to no avail. Aside from the film's supposed plot, not much is known about it. The horror, 1932, status, completely lost. The Horror is a lost 1932 horror film by Bud Pollard. Aside from the plot and poster, this film is completely lost. The famous specialist pulling teeth in the Grand Hotel Europa is the first film in Venezuelan history. The film was about a dentist extracting a tooth from a patient in a hotel, so I don't really know why it's on this chart. Only two frames from this film exist today, as it is now completely lost. The Lucifer Effect, 2017, status, partially lost. The Lucifer Effect is a 2017 horror movie that is currently unreleased. All that is released today is this trailer. Let's play zombie, 1993, status, found. Let's Play Zombie is a 1992 Russian horror film that was thought to be lost for many years. In 2021, the film was found, and you can now watch it online. All wrong. 1918. Status. Completely lost. 
I'll Renew was a 1918 horror science fiction film from Hungary, and a year later an English version of the film was made called The Sacrifice, or at least to my understanding that's what happened. Both films were based on the 1911 novel of the same name, so we have a vague idea of what the plot would have been, but both films are completely lost aside from their posters. The painting of war, 1994, status, found. The Painting of Horror is a 1994 shot on video horror film by J.W. Lawrence. It was given a rare VHS release, so for many years it was thought to be lost. Eventually a VHS rip of the tape made its way online, so you should have no trouble in watching it today. The Basement, 1989, status, found. The Basement is a 1989 anthology horror film that was never released for the longest time. In 2010, the film finally got a release on DVD. Dracula vs. Frankenstein, 2002, status, found. Dracula vs. Frankenstein is a unauthorized 2002 musical remake of the 1971 film of the same name, directed by Tyler Ralston and Mark Slanger. The film was only screened once in 2002, but in 2014 it was screened again and was released officially in 2021, the source being from one of the director's personal VHS copies of the film. Valley of Blood, 1973, status, completely lost. The Valley of Blood is a 1973 lost horror film. It's completely lost today aside from this poster. Player 7, Halloween Untitled Anime Project, Existence Unconfirmed. In September of 2005, Fangoria posted an article about a potential upcoming Halloween anime series, produced by a studio called Simon C Productions. The studio was apparently holding a contest for fans to design the poster, with the deadline being on October 10th, and with it having several rules and requirements. The contest is all that remains of this cancelled project, and its existence as a whole has been heavily debated upon. Epic Oxaliac, 1973, existence, debunked. Hippie Carnage was a supposed 1973 Korean kaiju film that is potentially just an urban legend. The original film print was believed to be destroyed in a flood in the 70s or 80s, but many have recalled seeing it on TV as a kid, while others claim that users are confusing it with the 1984 film The Flying Monster. Sharp, 1969, Shark is a 1969 action film that actually predates Jaws. The film is mostly about divers searching for treasure, but a supposed accident while filming caused the film to be remarketed as a shark attack film. While filming in 1967, a shark broke through a protective netting killing stuntman Jose Marco. It was a huge story at the time, as photos of the aftermath of the attack were included in an issue of Life magazine, and the film was then marketed as a shark attack film, and included the actual footage of the attack to cash in on the controversy. Here's the thing though, there's pretty much no proof that anybody died during the production of this film, and the photos published in Life magazine were faked. The attack pictured in the film is also fake, the blood supposedly just being ketchup. Still, the story persists to this very day, and many literally take it as fact. August under prompts penance, 2007, alternate and deleted scenes, status, completely lost. August Underground's Penance was a 2007 found footage horror film that is the final installment of the August Underground trilogy. The films are known for their very disturbing subject matter and visuals, but I couldn't really find anything about this film in particular having lost scenes, as the Blu-ray release seemed to have all these scenes as part of the bonus features. House of 1000 Corpses, Bleak 103 Minute Version, Existence Unconfirmed. This refers to the supposed leaked cut of House of a Thousand Corpses I mentioned in the second layer, supposedly before House of a Thousand Corpses was released in 2003. A leaked uncut version of the film was leaked and shared on the internet. The existence of this leaked cut is highly debated, but regardless, many have vivid stories about seeing this cut back in the day. Bad film festival films, status, partially lost. 
Banned Film Festival was a supposed collection of movies and short films that were banned from the public release, with the films in question being released anywhere from May of 1989 to March of 2007. The only film that has survived was a documentary called Chopper Down Helicopter Deaths in the Movies, which covers the 1983 Twilight Zone accident, amongst other film helicopter accidents. Before this documentary starts, the Band Film Festival logo appears, so many think that this is part of a collection of films, though these other films have not been found. Eight Millimeter was a crime drama directed by Joel Schumacher and starring Nicolas Cage. The movie's extended kill and sex scenes were cut to achieve an R rating, and in the DVD commentary, Joel Schumacher goes over what was cut. This original cut of the film has never surfaced. A Wet Dream on Elm Street was a 2011 porn parody of A Nightmare on Elm Street, and came out around the same time that the remake did. Though the parody was released on DVD at the time, it hasn't been archived online, aside from this censored teaser. Mark Twitchell was a murderer who also made fan films in his spare time. His murders were highly influenced by the TV show Dexter, and he actually filmed his murders in the same place he filmed his fan films. His 2008 horror film House of Cars has never been released, though some footage of it was released to the news. It started filming in September of 2008, and by October, he had already performed his first and only kill. Seven screaming version. Existence unconfirmed. Yeah, I literally couldn't find anything about this. Though Seven's ending was changed because of test screening reactions, it was over the death of John Doe, and had nothing to do with Tracy's unborn child. Fincher has stated in interviews that a woman who saw the test screening wanted Fincher dead for making the movie, but that's literally all I can find. Where evil dwells, 1985, status, partially lost. Where Evil Dwells is an independent 1985 film based on the 1984 Long Island murders. The original film print was destroyed in a fire, and all that remains of it today is this 28 minute preview. Henry, portrait of a serial killer, director's cut, status, partially lost. Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer was a 1986 horror film that was based on real life serial killer Henry Lee Lucas. The film was originally given an X rating, and would later serve for the creation of the NC-17 rating. For its home video release in the 90s, the film was given additional censorship, but it was still banned in many countries. And today, it's kind of a mess if you want to watch the director's cut, or the uncut version, or the theatrical version. And while doing research, I came across so many versions of this film to the point where I don't even know what this entry is referring to. I don't think anything is lost, though. In my research, the most extended version of the original film was the recently released Blu-ray by Aero Video, but don't quote me on that. In the 2017 film The Greasy Strangler, there was originally supposed to be a scene where an usher's face gets ripped off, but it didn't make it into the final cut, and the only proof of it is this photo. Charles Bronson vs. The Golem vs. The Golem was a cancelled horror film that starred Charles Bronson as a cop, similar to the Death Wish films, and featured him investigating the murders by a golem. The film was originally going to be produced by Canon, but was cancelled due to their financial problems at the time, and this story only appeared in the book Bronson's Loose, the making of the Death Wish films. To this day, the screenplay from Michael Allen Carter has never resurfaced. Dissolved evil, 1991, status, completely lost. Dissolved Evil was a 1991 Russian horror film based on the St. Petersburg Maniac. In 2020, a search for the film was conducted, contacting anyone who may have worked on it, but to no avail, although a copy is still believed to be out there. All that remains are these four stills from the film. The transformation, a sandwich of nightmares, 1974, 
status. Completely lost. The Transformation A Sandwich of Nightmares is a 1974 horror film. The film is now lost, and not much is known about it today, aside from these posters and the synopsis of the film. Kyle and Frank is Dr. Noya Garza, 1968. Status. Partially lost. Killing Frankenstein and Dr. No is a 1968 Turkish horror film that was said to be lost for many years. Recently, a 35mm print was found in an abandoned Istanbul archive, but it's only partially completed. Though 48 minutes of the film are viewable today, a remaining portion of it is still lost. Halloween, Bennett vs. Meyer scripts, status, partially lost. After the success of Freddy vs. Jason, Dimension Films, who owned the rights for the Halloween and Hellraiser franchises, started planning their own vs. horror film, that being Michael Myers vs. Pinhead. Pinhead was actually supposed to make a cameo at the end of Freddy vs. Jason, but they couldn't get the rights. The film never got off the ground, as Clive Barker only agreed to write if John Carpenter came back to direct. Carnage Hall was a supposed 1988 shot on video slasher film that is currently lost, if it even exists at all. The only mention of the film itself was on this blog called The Horror Section, where writer Jay Clark breaks down the film. Apparently it was a shot on video parody of slasher films. It took place in Texas and featured the killer wearing an Albert Einstein mask. Aside from that in the poster of the film, not much is known about it. Video Videotoma was an independent Argentine film production company founded in 1998. Though many of their films were released on VHS and DVD, these copies have become very rare in recent years, and many films are either completely lost or partially lost. The Slaughter, 1971, status, partially lost. The Slaughter was a 1971 Argentinian exploitation horror film that is now partially lost. The film was very controversial at the time and was banned in many countries, which could have contributed to its loss. The only form of the film to watch now is the edited version of the film called Snuff, which is widely available today, though the original cut is still lost. Oh my god, 1988, status, completely lost. Oh My God was a 1988 26-minute Japanese short film, directed by Moji Gubai. Aside from the plot, the cast, and this still from the film, not much is known about it today as it's now lost. The last time it was shown was at the Pi Film Festival in 1988. Amy's Night Out was a supposed 2007 short film, and aside from its IMDb listing, nothing is known about the film other than a little plot synopsis and the poster, and its existence is highly debated. Oh, bad go. 1934. Status. Completely lost. Two White Snake Ghosts is a 1934 Indonesian film that is now lost. The film was very successful and is one of the defining films in early Indonesian cinema. And though we have the plot, the cast, and a couple of posters and some screen grabs, the film is completely lost today, as the last print of the film was destroyed in a fire. Red Avian, 1940, status, partially lost. Pride Taikan was a 1940 horror film from Thailand, and quite possibly might be the first horror film in the country's history. The only surviving part of the film is this 8 minute clip. Aside from that, it is completely lost today. At midnight in the graveyard, 1910, status, completely lost. At midnight in the graveyard is a 1910 Russian horror film. Aside from this single still from the film, not much is known about it other than it's lost. The Dance of Death, 1916, status, completely lost. Dance of Death is yet another lost Russian horror film, and aside from what year it came out in and who directed it, nothing else is known about the film. Silent Death, 1983, status, completely lost. 
Silent Death was a 1983 grindhouse horror film by Vaughn Christen. Aside from a single review, a poster, and Christen's own recalling of the film, not much is known about it aside from its loss. But Christian said that the film maybe could have had a limited VHS release back in the day. In the late 90s when IMDb was first starting out, the moderation was very lax, so misinformation was often spread. One of these was a listing for a film called Gory Graduation, which was released sometime in the 80s. The listing was later confirmed to be a hoax, and in 2019, a film called Gory Graduation based on the fake listing was planned to be made. But ironically, it never was. Layer 8, 11 letters inside, 1996, status, completely lost. 11 Letters Inside was a 1996 experimental Russian art house film, made by the Actionism Art Group sect of Absolute Love. The film was allegedly a body horror film, as stated from an excerpt covered in the book The 90s from a First Person. In 2017, community members started a search for the film, and found that it was likely archived at the Garage Museum of Russian Arts. They tried to get them to release it, but to no avail. And all that remains of it is this poster and this potential screenshot from the film itself. Dear pal, obey Solomistril, give death production material, status. Pier Paolo Pasolini was an Italian filmmaker, most known today for his controversial film Salo 120 Days of Sodom, which was released three weeks after his murder. From my understanding, the film was originally supposed to be the first in his so-called death trilogy, as his next film in this trilogy was supposed to be a biopic of Glee's The Rise. This trilogy would be a counterpiece to his trilogy of life. To this day, the plans for his death trilogy have never been released, if they even exist at all. Supreme Elephant, 1999, uncut version, existence, unconfirmed. The Green Elephant was a 1999 Russian art house film by Vetlana Beskova. The runtime of the final film is around an hour and a half long, but supposedly there exists a 140 minute cut. Most people have claimed to see this extended cut on a bootleg VHS tape, while Boscova herself claims that this cut never existed, though some claim she is an unreliable narrator, due to her potentially saying this to drum up more intrigue for the cut. There's allegedly been some listings of the bootleg tape online, and Baskova has teased the release of a 2 minute deleted scene in the film, but it still remains highly debated whether it's real or not. Since this iceberg's publication, the bootleg VHS has been posted, but it's only 15 minutes or so longer than the final cut, so this so-called 2-hour version is still lost, if it even exists in the first place. Nympho Werewolf was a 1970 Portuguese werewolf horror film that was allegedly also released in the US. The film usually comes up on lists of werewolf movies, but aside from that, nothing is known about the film. The Lady in the Sea of Blood films, 1997, status, completely lost. The Lady in the Sea of Blood is an infamous 1997 Japanese gore fetish film that was said to be lost for many years. There are allegedly five parts that were all released on VHS back in the day, and the only one you can easily watch today online is the second one, though it's often confused with the first because of the titling, and I don't think that the first, third, fourth, or fifth one has been released online. The ending of the second film includes the credits that include a phone number, and members of the r slash Sony Sakabashi reddit believe that this holds the key in finding the other lost films. A ghost story, 2002, status, completely lost. Through Hike, A Ghost Story was a 2002 independent horror film by Blaine Norris. The film had a website for its promotion with some behind the scenes photos, and a news section where the film was reported to be finished in September. The film has never been released, but you can still visit the archive website today. Dumb Lil Bunny, 2020, status. Dumb Little Bunny was a supposed 2020 short horror film by Salvatore Palmieri and Andrew Diaz. 
The plot on the website track states, It's a narrative video collage structured in three acts, about three girls unable to survive in the world that they live in. Aside from this page on Tracked, nothing about this film is known. And yeah, that about does it for the ultimate horror film Lost Media Iceberg chart. That was a lot, so I hope you enjoyed the video and learned some new things from it. Anyways, have a safe and happy Halloween.